It's been pretty hot here at the uh, apiary, as you can see. These are not too bad, but those are not very happy. It's hot, very, very hot. It's 90 degrees today here in Connecticut. And uh, first week of September, uh, September 5th, I think it is. Uh, but anyway, pretty crazy. It's a crazy, crazy hot spell we're going through. And that's what we get. Lots of bearding. And these hives have ventilation up on the top. Um, and that's what they're doing. They're just uh, bearding a lot. Not all of them, but the bigger hives are. I'm standing right in front of it. How smart. Let's see if I can get around without getting stung. But that's what we got. Lots of bearding. They are bringing in pollen. And I'm getting knocked in the forehead already. So we'll just move up a little bit. And these are younger hives. They're not as strong yet. Lots of pollen coming in. Sorry. But those girls over there, whew, we'll get there in a moment. This is a swarm, late swarm. And these are the bees at the queen rearing yard or the home apiary. I have other hives in different locations. Let me see if I can give you guys a peek of one of these guys. So you can see what it looks like during bearding. And that's what happens when it gets very hot and humid right there. We're doing a lot of cooling. And that's what they do. They fan their wings and ventilate. So what I do with some of these is I'll uh, prop the lids a little bit and give them a little bit of uh, breathing room if it's too hot. Some say uh, bearding on a hive is a sign of a very healthy hive. I tend to believe so. Unless they're new hives like those ones back there and don't have the numbers of bees like these ones here do. Even the groups have a little bit. Alright, just a little something here at the home apiary, Ferreira apiary. All the all these boxes here are for queen rearing. That's our better queens. And mostly buck fast in here. Alright, have a good day.